Which example do you want to see? In this example, we have four terms and two variables, x and y. So we want to start by putting our terms that have the variable x together. So I have 3x plus 6x, which of course when we add the coefficients of 3 and 6, we get 9, and we keep the variable of x. Then I can take my terms that have the variable of y, so plus 4y and plus 2y, and again when I add just those coefficients, 4 plus 2 makes 6, so that's a positive 6, and I keep the variable of y. In order to be in standard form, we want to make sure that our variables are in alphabetical order, so x comes before y. I can't simplify this any further, so that's my answer. In this example, we have four terms and two variables. We have A and we have B. Let's start by taking all of our terms that have the variable A. And notice here that this 3 is actually a negative. You can do a state change change to make that plus a negative 3. So I have 8A plus negative 3A. And if I add those coefficients together, 8 and negative 3 make 5, and I leave the variable a. Then I can look at my variables b. Again, I'm going to do a state change change here and make this plus a negative 5. So now I have negative 5b plus 2b, which, again, I'm just adding the coefficients, negative 5 and 2, will make a negative 3b. So simplify this here just becomes 5a minus 3b. In this example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, and we have 3 terms that have a variable and 2 constants. So I want to start with my variable. Think about who the like terms of 12x would be. Remember that like terms need to have the same variable, so we're looking at the positive 2x and the negative 6x. And I can do a state change change here to make this plus negative 6x. If I put all of those together, it looks like this. So 12x plus 2x makes 14x plus a negative 6x will make 8x. Now, think about this. If I have these two constants of negative 7 and positive 1, are those like terms? Yes, constants are always like terms. So I have a negative 7 plus 1, which makes negative 6. And that's my answer. In this example, we have four terms, and we have two constants and two variables with x. So let's start with this 10. This 10 is called a constant. So who would its like term be? The negative 5, and I can do a state change change here constants are always like terms with other constants. They don't have to be the same, they just have to be a constant. The other term that we have here is a negative 3x. And who would its like term be? The positive 6x. So I can just add these together. I have 10 and negative 5, which will make 5. And I have negative 3 and positive 6, will, which will make a positive 3x. However, this is not currently in standard form, so we need to make sure that our answer is in standard form by just flipping those around, 3x plus 5. Now it's in standard form, so now I have my answer.
In this example, we have five terms. We have two different variables and a constant. So if we start here, does this constant have a like term? Remember that constants are only like terms with other constants. So this does not have a like term. So I can just bring it down and I can move on to my next term, which is a negative 7a. I'm going to go ahead and change this to plus negative 7, do my state change change. And so then I need to think about what is the like term for that negative 7a. And I'm looking for another variable of a. So that is the negative 2a, so I'm going to change that to plus negative 2. So now we have the plus negative 7a and plus negative 2a. Next variable that I have is b. Now think back, what is the coefficient that belongs here? It's a 1, not a 0, it's a 1. So I have a plus 1b and plus 3b. Again, they have the same variable, so they are like terms. So then this 3, I don't have anything to combine it with, but the negative 7 and the negative 2a make a negative 9a, and then um, my color's changed, sorry. I have a plus 1b and a plus 3b, which make plus 4b. The last thing that I need to do is make sure that this is in standard form. Remember, standard form, we start with alphabetical order with the variables and end with the constants. So right now, this constant is at the beginning of my expression, and I need to move it. A would be the first variable, so I'm going to start with negative 9a. Next would come the plus 4b. And then finally, we can bring down that constant of positive 3. So this time my answer has three terms. That's okay. My answer could have five terms. It could have any number of terms, um, as long as it's fully simplified and it's in standard form, as is this one.